involved in that argument, but he was hit by a bullet. The 52-year-old man is in stable condition. So far, no other details are being released. Her purse, her cell phone were found in public, yet she hasn't contacted anyone in days. Milwaukee police looking for a missing woman. She has not shown up for work either. Her family is worried, and they're asking for your help. Our Brett Beganski shows you why this case is such a mystery. As soon as I get up, I'm out here looking for her. He remains hopeful, but Jeffrey Curran is on edge, waiting to know the whereabouts of his wife, 40-year-old Estella Curran, who he hasn't seen since Saturday. I'm late for work. Oh, I'm late. I got to go. That was the last thing Estella's daughter heard her say as she rushed out the door Sunday morning for work at St. Camillus, but she never showed up. Fast forward three hours later, her purse and cell phone were found here at the O'Donnell parking structure with a note that said to call the house number if found. She always kept a note in there like if, if found because she is always misplacing things. She also hasn't showed up all week for her part-time job at Nurses Now in Shorewood, and she hasn't contacted any family members. This is out of character for her. She would never stay gone, and she would never leave Anissa, her six-year-old. Jeffrey has a message for anybody who may have seen his wife. If you know where she is, please have her phone home. Come home. Brett Paganski, Fox 6 News. This is an active missing persons case. Milwaukee police are pursuing any and all leads. Meanwhile, her part-time job, nurses now, they've set up a fund at U.S. Bank, and that money, we're told, would be used for any information about Estella Curran's whereabouts. An FBI informant helps to solve an armed robbery at the Wauwatosa Walmart. Police say the heist was an inside job. Documents show a former employee and two other men rounded up.